Hello, my very beautiful Pisces. How are you guys? I hope you guys are all doing well. If you guys are new here, then welcome. And if you've been with me for a while, welcome back. So guys, we're gonna be doing your April monthly reading. It is a general reading, so it may not be able to resonate, but everything that you guys need to know about the reading or about scheduling personals, all of that is gonna be in the description box below. So we're not gonna waste any time. I wanna pray and get right into it. I do have one quick announcement though. Um, I have a discount code that's just for you guys, as well as a link to my online metaphysical store in the description box if that's something that you guys want to check out. So. With no further ado, let's get going. Archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding from my very beautiful Pisces. May the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. May they please find those who need to hear them. Show me Pisces energy, please, for the month of April. Very clear message and a very clear understanding from my very beautiful Pisces. May the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. May they please find those who need to hear them. All right, Pisces, let's see. So we have the King of Wands in the reverse. Pisces, I do feel like you're um, you're dealing with a very inconsistent person. Um, this person, I'm I'm getting the words wishy washy. Okay, this person is not. They're not showing you the love that you deserve they're not treating you the way i'm getting this energy of them being very in and out okay like hot and cold clarify this king of wands in the reverse the five of cups yeah it's really it's causing you a great deal of disappointment a great deal of hurt um, because i do feel like this is somebody that you really care for and i'm getting this energy of you know when it's good it's really good and you're really happy but when it's not when this person just switches up all of a sudden um you know it's really painful for you and very confusing so let's take a look at this person's energy and see if we can figure out what's going on Show me the person that Pisces is dealing with in this situation. What is their energy towards Pisces? Show me the person that Pisces is dealing with. What is their energy towards Pisces in the month of April? So we have the Ten of Swords in the reverse and the Knight of Pentacles. So this person doesn't want, um, they don't want things to be over between the two of you. Okay, they don't. They don't want this to end. I feel like they're trying to figure out how to keep this alive, how to keep this going. Um, I feel very much that this person is feeling the disconnect too. Um, we're going to see what's going on with it, but the Knight of Pentacles is all about figuring out what the next step is, um, looking towards the future and you know making plans, figuring out what the next step to take is. But with the Ten of Swords being the reverse, I feel like they don't want things to end between the two of you. What other energies does this person have towards... Pisces. What other energies does this person have towards Pisces? So the Emperor in the reverse, this person kind of feels like it's out of their hands, okay? Um, that's, that's the phrase that they gave me. They feel like a total lack of control with the Emperor being in reverse. It's like they don't know what to do. They don't know what they can do if there's anything they can do. Um, but the Three of Swords in the reverse, they don't want to hurt you and they don't want to hurt either. Show me Pisces energy towards this person. What is Pisces energy towards this person? The Hierophant in the reverse and the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. So Pisces, I'm kind of getting the feeling that this is somebody who, you know, comes and goes from your life. Um, one minute they're in a relationship with you, the next they want to break up. Then they're back in a relationship with you, then they want to break up. And you don't really know what brings it on. You don't really understand it. Um, and I feel that you guys are 
you know that's where that very inconsistent energy is coming from okay um this very wishy-washy in and out energy and pisces it really feels to me that this is one of those moments where you guys are off okay and this person wants to come back they don't want things to be over they realize that they you know made a mistake they want to figure out how to come back towards you they don't know if they can they don't want to hurt you they're they don't this person's kind of a hot mess Pisces I'm not gonna lie to you it is a very inconsistent energy this person I feel like comes and goes from your life and it seems almost as they please but Pisces with your energy here with the hair font in the reverse and the wheel of fortune in the reverse I don't think you're letting them come back this time I don't think you're letting them come back because you're gonna you're like I'm not gonna keep allowing you to do this to me to keep hurting me What other energies does Pisces have towards this person? The Eight of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, you're cutting off communication with them. The World card. You're letting. You're just letting this be over. Okay, you're just letting this end. You're not bringing it back around. And I feel like it's causing a tower moment for them because they felt that they could just get you back whenever they could pick you up and put you down and get you back whenever they wanted to. And now you're holding your ground. You know. You're not letting them come back this time. You're not going to let them keep doing this to you. And you're cutting off communication. What actions will this person be taking towards Pisces? What actions will this person be taking towards Pisces? So we have the Five of Cups. So this person is going to be grieving. They're going to be very disappointed. They're going to have to live with the choices that they made. You know, what's that expression? You made your bed. You're going to have to lie in it. You know, they hurt you. They came in and out as they please. Um, they took you for granted. And now they realize that they can't have you back. So they're going to be grieving. What actions does Pisces going to be taking towards this person? What actions will Pisces be taking? Eight of Cups. So you're walking away. You're trying to disconnect from this emotionally. You're not going to allow this person to keep playing games with your mind and with your heart. All right, Pisces. Let's see what your outcome and advice is. What potential outcomes do we have for Pisces for the month of April, please? What potential outcomes do we have for Pisces? That's too many. What potential outcomes do we have for Pisces for the month of April, please? Any potential outcomes? So I do feel like you've gotten a little bit of trust issues, okay? You're kind of putting a wall up um, and the King of Wands. So we have the Seven of Swords and the King of Wands. I do feel like you're going to be putting yourself back out there. And I don't think you're going to be lonely long, but I do believe that you're, you have your wall up, your guard up. You're going to have some trust issues, you know, moving forward um, from this person. But I see you, you know, ready to take action, ready to put yourself back out there, see what else is out there. You're not going to let this keep you down. What advice do we have for my beautiful Pisces? What advice do we have for my beautiful Pisces? Any advice? The moon card, which is your energy, Pisces. And the page of pentacles. So this, you know, when it's coming up, is your advice Pisces this is about just being your true authentic self know your worth know what you want know what your path is um, and just stay very true to that okay and the page of Pentacles you know you guys are manifesting okay this is you know pages are manifestations they are messengers um, I feel like spirit is really saying here stay true and authentic to yourself to your path to what you're worthy of and what you want in life and don't settle okay um, don't settle because that love and that connection and that life, you know, those manifestations that you want, you can have them, but you have to stay true to your path. You have to, you know, stay true to yourself. All right, let's get you some confirmation, clarification, or advice. Archangel, spirit guides, and ancestors, can we get confirmation, clarification, or advice from my beautiful Pisces, please? Confirmation, clarification, or advice for my beautiful Pisces, please.
past life relationship. You have known each other before. So you guys could have had, you know, this could be a karmic relationship where you guys had, you know, karmic debt to clear up between the two of you from past lives, okay? And you guys were meant to come in and clear it up in this life. But there was also lessons, okay, that you were both meant to take from this and it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So because we, like we saw with the trust issues that were coming up a little bit, Spirit is saying that it is safe for you to love. Okay? Not to put up a wall around your heart. Not to, you know, block yourself off out of fear of getting hurt again. Spirit wants you to be open to new love. Okay? Be open to giving and receiving. Let's get your charms and then we will get your angel messages. I really like this. All right, so we have the scissors. Okay, you guys are cutting out things that no longer serve you, things that are not in your highest of good. Oh, I didn't see this one. This one fell as well. So we're going to take it. We have the guitar. A lot of you could have a really deep love, a passion for music, and that could be something that's really getting you through. You guys could be listening to, you know, a lot of music at this time or even writing music, okay? Um, it's going to be one of those things that's really, you know, very almost therapeutic for you. We have the ship. You guys are moving in a new direction. The art of allowing is coming to mind. There's a need for you guys to allow the things that are meant to leave to leave and allow the things that are meant to come in to come in. And you guys are being divinely guided. You guys are being watched over. You are not going through this alone. You have your angels right here with you. They want you to know that they're here with you. So let's go ahead and get your angel messages and see what they have to say for you. Archangels, as you watch over and you guide my beautiful Pisces through this situation and through this change in their life, what message do you have for them? What message do they need to hear the very most? As you watch over and you guide my beautiful Pisces, what message do you have for them? Let's see. As you honor and follow the guidance of your heart, prosperity is coming to you now. So as long as you stay true to yourself, as long as you're honoring yourself, your heart, and your path, you know, good things are coming. Prosperity is coming. Things are going to work out. When you take excellent care of your body and excellent care of yourself, everybody benefits. Give yourself a relaxing treat today, such as a massage, sea salt bath, or pedicure. I feel like spirit is saying, you know, it's, don't be hard on yourself, okay? Be kind and compassionate and loving to yourself. You're going through a lot. This is painful, okay? This is a difficult situation. Give yourself that long bath. Give yourself that day in your pajamas. Whatever it is, be kind to yourself. Be gentle to yourself and be loving to yourself, okay? And most of all, be patient with yourself. All right, guys, if this resonates, please let me know in the comments down below. And if it doesn't, check out your other sign placements. Sometimes our moon rising and Venus can actually resonate more than our sun sign does. Um, if none of them resonate, I'm sorry, just not your message. I do ask my guides to give me the messages that need to be heard the very most. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you guys hit the notification bell, then when our monthlies, mid-monthlies, and weeklies are uploaded, you guys can be notified and you can go check them out. But most importantly, if you guys want personal prayers for any reason, you don't have to specify. You can put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and I will pray for you. So I am sending you guys so much love and light. Until next time.